Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. So we are today at the fourth day of Bayer Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover today is non-decreasing array. So the input given here is an integer array nums and we have to return true if we can modify only one number in the given array and change the array to increasing array or non-decreasing array. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is our given example array, the nums are 4, 2, 1, where 2 and 3 are in increasing order and 4 is an odd one out. So if we are updating 4 to 1, then the array becomes 1, 2, 3 and it is in increasing order and we can return true that we can make only one modification to the number and make the array in increasing order. So now how are we going to approach this? So in our problem statement, it is given that if the array is said to be non-decreasing array, if the numbers are either less than or equal to the next number. For example, in this array 4, 2, 3, you can either change it to 1, 2, 3 or 2, 2, 3. Both are said to be in non-decreasing order. So the numbers can be equal. So let's first understand these two examples to understand the logic of this problem. Going to our first example, 4, 2, 3, let's consider our iteration starting at the first index of the given number. So our first index is 4 and going to our second index, second index is 2 actually which is lesser than the first number. So the first intuition for us is to make the first number lesser. So let us make the first number lesser by assigning the same value at the second position. So the number is going to become 2, 2 and 3. So now our iteration moves to second number as the second number is lesser than the last number or third number. Again our iteration moved to the third number. The third number, after third number we don't have anything left. So this satisfies the thing that one modification has changed this array to non-decreasing array. So we are going to return true for this case. Moving on to the next case, we are going to apply the same logic. Let's start from our 0th index. A value 3 is actually lesser than the next value. So in that case, this case is true. Our iteration moves to the first index. The value is 4. The next number is 1. So here our intuition is to update the second number, that is the current number to lesser value so that it will become less than 1. So if we are trying to update the middle value to 1, that is actually what is there in the last position, the array is going to become 3, 1, 1. Again, it is not a non-increasing array because the first number is higher and the other two numbers are lower. So in this case, the wise choice is to update the last number. So if we are updating the last number to 3, 4, 4, then this array is going to become increasing array. So how do we decide which number to update? So we are going to check whether our value at position i minus 2, that is if our current position is i, then value at i minus 2 is less than the current value, then the wise choice is to update the previous number. If not, if the i minus 2 value is greater value, then in that case, updating the current number is the wise choice. So by applying this logic, we are going to count the number of modification we are going to make. And if our modification exceed 1, then we are going to return false. If not, it is going to be true. So let's go to code now. So let's start by declaring the value modified. So this is going to keep track of how many modifications we have made. And if that exceeds 1, we are going to return false. So let's iterate our given string from the index 1. And we are going to check if our number at index i minus 1 is greater than number at index i. Only then we need a modification. If not, we can go ahead and compare the other numbers. Since it needs a modification, obviously we are going to increment our count. So once incremented, we are straight away going to check if it exceeds 1. Then we are straight away returning false. If not, I am going to check the condition if i is greater than 2 because if there exists a position or value at i minus 2 or the number value at i minus 2 position is less than or equal to nums dot i then in that case the wise choice is to update the previous number 
that is nums of i minus 1 equal to nums of i. If not, if the number at i minus 2 is actually greater number, in that case, updating the last number is the wise choice. For example, if the number is, so for example, if the number is 341, so here the wise choice is to update the last number, that is position nums of i. So nums of i is equal to nums of i minus 1. So once this is done, the number going to become 344. So if at none of the cases the value returned false, then finally we are going to return true. So this solution actually iterate our given array only once. So this is going to run in big O of n time complexity. So let's run and try. Let's submit. So yes, our solution is accepted and runs in 0 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.